Well, with the new year comes new goals and getting fit and living healthy. That's at the top of many lists. But if your exercise plan includes starting a new walking or running regimen, there's an important thing you need to remember. Carrie Klein is live in Zionsville at the Endurance House with a look at how getting the right shoe makes all the difference. Carrie, good morning. Good morning, Bruce. Whether you are going to work out at the gym, whether you're going to walk or run, having the right shoe is priority one. And here to talk more about that is Justin Roeder, fitness expert here at the Endur at Endurance House. And Justin, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. So you've got me outfitted with this test shoe, and you've got treadmill and an iPad, and you're going to analyze how my foot reacts when I jog. That's correct. Yep, it's a personalized movement profile. So we have you in a test shoe. It's kind of like walking around barefoot safely. And I'm going to go back here on the iPad, film you, and we're going to zoom in and see what's going on. All right, let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to hop on. We've got the treadmill already set. It's sort of a nice medium pace. I'm going to actually speed it up a little bit. All right, so what are you seeing? So based on this, what's going on? We're seeing that your foot is rotating in some light version of pronation. And all that is just some instability in the foot. Why is this important? We want to get this all stable. We want it to be a straight line. Anytime you have any rocking in or out, it's going to cause you know, painful pain, foot pain, pain, and just some problems down the road for your New Year's resolutions. All right. So that gives you a good basis for helping me find the right shoe. And you said it's really important for people to be honest about how much activity they're yeah, going to put correct. in. So if you're just going to be going to the gym and doing weights and things like that, not a lot of running or walking, this is a good shoe. Yeah, correct. Yeah, this is just a, a lower drop shoe, meaning the heel is lower to the ground. So if you're doing a lot of lunges, squats, maybe elliptical, not so much running, this would be great. Plus it's light and it's really breathable and it's a fun color. Awesome. And then if you're just going to maybe be a walker, strictly a walker. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is another good option from Brooks. So it's got a flat platform. It's got a lot of cushion and again, some breathing more stable so if you know you're just gonna be walking around in the dark this is great all right and last but not least the person is ready to do a serious running regimen yep correct from Mizuno's yeah so this is your, your standard running shoe a lot of cushion it's gonna have a higher heel knowing that you might land on your heel plenty of cushion throughout and then again with that breathable mesh just so when your foot does swell when you work out it allows for your foot to grow and not get any blisters or any hot spots very good Justin thank you so much so as you're getting ready to start your new fitness routine routine or resume an old routine, make sure you get the right shoe and make sure you get the right attention to make sure you're getting the shoe that works well for your foot and your body. And happy new year and happy new fitness plan, Bruce. Yeah, very good. Some great tips this morning. Carrie Klein for us live. Carrie, thanks.